Hi, Pastor John. My name is Scott. Hi, Scott. Uh, thank you, first of all, for your faithful service to the church all these many years. Uh, my question is, uh, in beholding the progression of Satan's temptation of Jesus in the desert, it becomes apparent that his greatest uh, weapon against Christ or against anyone, I guess, would be to finally use the Word of God itself to twist it out of context. I was wondering if you see it to be analogous to perhaps Satan twisting Romans 13 to use it to tempt the church in this proverbial desert that we're in. Yeah, now I think it's a very good observation that um, the devil quotes Scripture, and he quotes it accurately enough, but it misinterprets it. Um, and, and look, does he do that often? Every single aberrant cult of, related to Christianity is full of the devil having twisted Scripture, right? All of it, Mormonism, Christian science, all cults, Jehovah's Witnesses, any of them and all of them. Um, all the strange, bizarre, charismatic movements and all the false teachers and frauds, they all use Scripture. So the, the devil, his ploy is to be disguised as an angel of light, and his ministers are angels of light, disguised as angels of light, and the light is the Scripture. So yes, um, every, every religion that wants to propagate in the name of Christianity, some aberrant truth has to twist Scripture. And yeah, what you're, what you're pointing out is we took Romans 13 and we said that does not give the government the power to stop the church from meeting. And we said we're going to meet. There were critics who said, well, you're disobeying the government. This was never rebellion against the government. This was obedience to Christ. He said, forsake not the assembling of yourselves together, and I borrow the language of Acts 5. You judge whether we obey God or men. When those two conflict, look, a husband and a, and a wife have authority over a child. But how much authority do they have? Do they have authority over that child to lead that child into sin and transgression and corruption? Uh, and we say, well, we have to back off. After all, they have parental authority. Or does a husband have the right to lead his wife into immorality because he has authority as a husband? No, that authority is all framed up in the exercise of what is a legitimate use of that authority. So the government has overstepped its bounds, way overstepped its bounds. God never, ever ordained government to do what government is doing today. It's way beyond God's intention. Government had a simple purpose, punish evildoers and protect those who do good. And to show you how perverted the government is, it is basically committed to protecting the people who do evil and punishing the people who do good. It's been reversed. Millions of people pouring in over the border, millions of people committing crimes, and you want to defund the police, and you want to, you want to eliminate any kind of laws. So the government, you can tell, is flipped on its head, and it is going to punish the people who want to uphold the law, and it's going to reward the people who want to violate the law. And you have it to the degree that in the name of an emergency, the president or whoever influences him, he's, he's, uh, he's the ventriloquist dummy, but uh, <laughs> whoever is influencing him, he's just making willy-nilly laws all over the place. Like you, you're not vaccinated, you lose your job and things like that. It's just endless. Uh, that, that isn't protecting anybody. When, when the government reaches into your life and begins to destroy it, destroying businesses, destroying jobs, destroying lives, when the, when the government proudly says, we now have a new passport with an X on it, for those of you who aren't male or female, um, we are proud to announce the first transgender general in the health services. That's the great achievement of a government that is completely corrupt, completely corrupt. To submit to that government, how would we ever submit to that government? And least of all, if they told us not to meet, we would defy that because we would declare, as we did declare, Christ is the head of the church, not Caesar. Okay?